John, let me ask you that question first of all. Is the global economy where you want it to be right now? Where do you see strength? Where do you see weakness? Well, we'd always like a little more growth, but on balance, the, the global economy is pretty good. We, Europe's okay. Asia is one of our one of our most significant growth regions, and we're seeing a lot of growth in the Middle East. So. We like the global economy. It could grow a little bit more, but on balance, OK. Um, you've got a new boss coming in, John Flannery. You know him well, I'm sure. Um, so my question to you is, and I'm sure this is one that your investors are asking, are we going to see the new boss starting to change the dynamic of GE share price performance. I, Jeff Immelt did many good things, but it was difficult to see that on the share price chart. Uh, and you just wonder whether or not we're going to be seeing the new management team being able to correct that. What can you tell investors on that front? Well, I think over the 16 years of Jeff's leadership, we've, we've created the right portfolio for, for the 21st century. And I think, I think John understands that because he's been part of it and he's put his fingerprints on a lot of this. But any new CEO is going gonna, is gonna to take a fresh look and, and John certainly will and the board will encourage him to do that. But the basic portfolio that we have in place now, technology infrastructure businesses, uh, out of the financial services, and a real focus on digital, I, I expect that to continue. But we want John, and John will, apply the, his learnings to the, to the portfolio and put his fingerprints on it. Will he change? John, uh, will he change the relationship that the General Electric Board has with investors? And I ask this because of the relationship evolving with uh, activist investor Tryon. You know, we, I think we have a very good relationship with a lot of our investors. And I think we pay close attention to what they say. And we have done that with Tryon. So I don't, I don't expect that going forward. To be any different. We've heard loud and clear the message from investors about the importance of cash, the importance of cost, and I think that this management team is well focused on that. It has been under Jeff and it will be under John. John, you talk about Jeff providing the building blocks, um, but, you, but you think that uh, John Flannery is going to put his fingerprints on what the portfolio looks like. Can we expect changes, significant changes. I, when, you, when you guys talk, do you talk about the fact that the portfolio is in the right place? Do you talk about the fact that, that maybe you need to tweak here and there? Or do you think that he's going to look at the portfolio and say, you know what, I think I can release value by breaking GE up, or I think I can make value by, by going down the M&A route? So, and if he is going to go down the M&A route, where does it take you? Is it into the digital space a little bit more? Is it additives? Kind of where does, where does that story look like? Well, we're actually, we go through that process on a regular basis. In fact, over the next month, we'll be looking at the portfolio, our strategy, uh, different things that we might do. And that culminates in an in-depth discussion with our board of directors in late July. We do that every year, and then we update it regularly during the year. I don't expect the process to be any different this year than it was in prior years. We always take a critical look at different pieces of our portfolio to determine, you know, what's working, how has the world changed in a way that it might influence what we do. Three years ago, it led us to the conclusion that we really shouldn't be in financial service businesses. So we, we do this on a regular basis, and, and that will continue on under John as it has under Jeff. What does that mean? What is the future for asset sales at GE and how is the process going for GE lighting? Well, I think the process is going is going well for GE lighting. Uh, you know, we've demonstrated a willingness over the over the over a long time really. You can you you can go back to 
10 or 15 years when we sold uh, businesses like, like plastics and, and reinsurance, a willingness to take a critical look at the portfolio and make the right decisions, we think, about where we have our capital allocated. Uh, the asset sales that we have underway are proceeding well, and, uh, and I don't expect anything to change. John, a final kind of question, just to kind of center around where you think the metrics are going to go. Um, Nelson Peltz talks about an EPS that is, that is achievable 2018 north of two, two bucks. I, do you think that that's achievable? Even, I, even if we back out some, of, some buybacks, kind of, do you think that their numbers are simply too high in terms of the expectations of what GE can deliver? Well, I think two dollars is achievable, but obviously it's 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 challenged given the fact that the oil and oil and gas business and the price of oil has been lower for longer than we thought. As as Jeff has said at the EPG meeting recently, we can we can work cost angles as offsets, and and we're going to make every attempt to do that. Uh, and then we'll look at at the right combination of things to, to deliver the best results we can. I want to ask about the uh, pension shortfall quickly, John. Um, $31.1 billion at the end of last year. It's the biggest among S&P 500 companies in absolute size. How, how important of a problem is this to you, and how do you think GE can best tackle it? Well, look, we pay close attention to it. We review, we review it regularly with our board of directors. Obviously, that number, as you know, goes up and down based on uh, interest rates and expected returns, and interest rates are at a very low level. Uh, but we don't think that there's any that there's any question about our ability to fund our, our pension obligations over time. John, just give me one more minute for another final quick question, so I'll, I'll take that if I can. John, are you disappointed with what the White House has delivered thus far? Do you think we need to see more? Does the U.S. economy need more from Washington at the moment? Well, I think the new administration is listening. I'm encouraged by the fact that that the advisors, the president, has had a number of, of important council meetings, including one this week that Jeff Immelt participated in on technology. Uh, I think there's a lot of listening and a lot of learning going on. There are Im important things that the administration has talked about doing that will help businesses, and we certainly encourage that. And I'm, I'm, uh, when, I, when I look at what's happened and I look at the possibilities, uh, you know, there's still a lot of upside.